would stay again. The rooms are big for London, I thought mine had a little too much furniture in it really. Two beds, double lounge, coffee table, desk, so it was a bit tight, but it was a good room. Nice bathroom, plenty of space. Had to find somewhere else to go for breakfast as I think £21 per person for breakfast per day is excessive amount of money. We walked around town and found somewhere and we got full breakfast. Orange juice coffee for two people for the price they want to charge for one person. One side of the bed was against a pillar in the wall, leaving no space for a bedside table. I therefore had to leave water glass, phone, book hole on the floor along the side of the bed and to climb out over them during the night to visit the bathroom. There was a major issue upon check in which ultimately was resolved to the satisfaction of all but it did take two days. Having said that it was sorted, so thanks to those involved. Breakfast was poor, I know the hotel is now part of a chain hotel now but really, £10. The hotel was absolutely gorgeous, a little bit of a step back in time, but with many modern, convenient twists. As Americans, we really appreciate a large bed, and comfortable pillows. The bathroom was large, with adequate storage space for our belongings. Sadly my granddaughter found the box of intimacy collection for lovers at 10 years old she can read and was very interested in what it was. Had to have a very brief sex education lesson which we didn't appreciate.